Accepting Christ in my life today has been a pleasure. It's been great. You know, coming to this church, seeing the people here just welcome me is great. Having Christ on your side is a great thing. You know, and I, I love it every day now. Um, growing up, it was kind of rough household. My dad was a severe alcoholic. You know, I was introduced to addiction in a, in a young age, and then dealing with the abuse, the mental abuse, and the, yeah, I was sexually abused as a child. You know, and then trying to find some source of outlet, I took it out in school, you know, wanting attention. Basically, at 13, I was introduced to softcore drugs, you know, marijuana, you know, um, alcohol. I, I had alcohol available to me every day because my dad had it and when he would pass out I, I basically took the rest of it and he never knew. My parents separated, my dad punched me in the mouth, I lost four teeth, got into a little bit of harder drugs, started dealing at, it, at the school, you know, um, at 15 I was making more money than my mom. Junior year of high school. My mom couldn't take care of me anymore. So my mom ships me off to my brother in Washington. You know, I'm living over there for a while, doing pretty good, graduate high school, get married, go into a deep depression. Then I found everything I could up there, getting back into the heroin, the meth, the benzos, the pain pills, everything I can think of. Struggled there you know, hurt my daughters in the process, you know, hurt my wife at the time in the process, hurt my brother. You know, I burned a lot of bridges growing up, started cooking methamphetamines, you know, became homeless in the process. Now we're present. I, I'm clean about four or five months. I haven't been keeping track this time. It's not that important to me because I know this time I'm going to stay clean because I don't want it in my life anymore. I don't want to play that game, you know? And it was hard moving from Washington because I lost my girls. And it's really hard. I've been up here four months. I'm doing the adulting thing. I got a job, you know, I'm staying clean. I go to the RU program. RU program is just wonderful. You know, it helps me out. I keep in contact with my kids every day. So it's great. I heard about the program um, just checking the mail one day. A flyer came in the mail and I was like, wow, an addiction program I've never heard of before. You know, I should check this out. I came in to ask a bunch of questions about the church and ask about Jesus Christ himself. And it was explained to me in full detail, um, basically, you know, you got to believe in Jesus Christ in order, you know, to go to heaven. I never thought of it that way. I always thought you had to be part of the church. You know, you had to be in service in the church. I do believe in him, you know, and I'm, I'm excited to get baptized, you know. This is sin and this is all of us. And Christ gave his life for all the sins. If you're not accepting Christ, you don't know where you're going to go when you pass away, you know. but. As me, myself, I accepted Jesus Christ. I accepted the fact that he died for all of our sins. Jesus Christ is in my life and I have faith in him, you know, and I know that I will be going to heaven. It's not in works, it's in Jesus Christ alone. By your profession and faith, I'm gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. 